So guys, it's 11, bunny oh bunny rabbit, it's 11.30 at night and we are taking our car ride out to Joshua Tree. Ha, just kidding. We are going to Glendale. There's Kevin, he's driving. Yay. And Kirsty wants to go with us, so we're going to be stopping and picking Kirsty up. Why she wants to go with us, I have no clue. She just wants to go. And why are we going to Glendale? I'll let Kevin tell you. Um, I was supposed to, uh, well, I painted the room and I was supposed to paint a gate, but since I had didn't have time to paint the gate, I kept the key uh, to the apartment, which I shouldn't have because I had no reason to go back in there. And she told me it's the only key they have to the room, which surprises me, but it is the way my life goes. So I have to drive the key back out to Glendale so that they can get people in to work on the room tomorrow, on the apartment tomorrow. So we're heading to Glendale. <sighs> a two hour round trip. And I didn't feel like letting Kevin go all by himself, so I decided to take a ride with him. Yay. So. We'll keep you updated as we go. <laughs> so we just picked up Kirsty and she's wearing her, what are they, zebra? Yeah, zebra onesie. <laughs> her zebra onesie to go with us. Yeah. We're going on a road trip, road trip. <laughs> road trip to Glendale. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> she's a horse. My horse laugh sounds like a witch. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna make a stop to pick up some fast food for the trip and we will get on the road <laughs> people are gonna wonder why did you want to go with us oh I don't know just for the fun of it <laughs> <laughs> better than sitting home doing nothing yeah I have a question for you yeah how the hell did you manage to do it how in the hell did I manage to do it? What are you talking about? How the hell did you manage to get Daryl out of my house without me knowing it? What? You sure he's not partying with Negan? I'm pretty positive he's not and he shouldn't be. <laughs> Negan's missing. What? Negan's missing. No, are you kidding me? Oh my god, where's my Negan? What are you doing? Looking for Negan. What is this? And he's definitely not behind this couch. I moved, I, I personally moved the couch and the love seat this morning. I'm just as upset as you are. I want to know where my, my Negan is. I want to know where my Daryl is. Where's my Negan, dude? I think Kevin and your mom were up to something. I think they were too while we were out watching it. I checked this entire house. Okay, so I already checked outside. I checked the shed. I checked all around oh, I didn't the outside. Check the shed. I checked the shed. There's, okay. nothing, there's nothing in there. And I checked the side of the house. Um, I surveyed that room in there, but I'm working on Kevin's bedroom right now because I already looked in the closet where your cleaning stuff is. And I looked in the bathroom. And now I'm on the bedroom. So we need to go look in there right now. Okay. Good morning, neighborhood community. Good morning. So you never guess what happened. Guess what happened? What happened? I woke up this morning and I called Miss Kirstie over here because yeah. if you notice, my Daryl is missing. Who? Yeah, my Daryl. Who? So I called Kirstie. I said, how did you do it? She's like, what are you talking about? I said, how did you get Daryl out of my house without me knowing it? We've been together either in the house or out of the house. How did you manage to get him out of my house? And she's like, I didn't do it. And I was being dead serious. And I was like really offended that you accused me of kidnapping Daryl. And I didn't. And then I have a Negan. And guess what? Negan's missing, too. Negan's missing? He is. Oh, my goodness. Negan and Daryl are both missing. Both wow. of them at the same time. What could they be doing? And who kidnapped them? Kevin? <clears throat> they're, they're probably on a ride. Where? They're on a ride. 
I heard yeah. last I heard they were in Joshua Tree. It's the last thing I heard. Right? Mm-hmm. Why don't you ask Bones? He was here the whole time. Bones knows secrets. I <laughs> when I found out they were in that Daryl, I don't know if Negan was with them, but when I found out that Daryl was really Norman was really in Joshua Tree. That's only an hour and 45 minute drive from here. And we were at the movies and I told Kirstie we should go. <laughs> and said we drove to Glendale. Yeah, <laughs> we did. It was a road trip. <laughs> and it was so much fun. You'll see a clip of that too. We, I was we, driving them bananas. Not me, I fell asleep. <laughs> That's why I thought it was her. I thought, because I fell asleep in the truck. Mm-hmm. And I thought when we got back, she snuck in and took him. No, he dropped me off first. And then he but I didn't know that. House. I was sleeping. Jeez, oh man. He dropped me off at my house, and I was up for another hour, and then I passed out after that. But that's why I thought you took him, because I was sleeping, so I didn't know he dropped you off first. So we have no idea... Where Daryl and Neagle, 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 Neagle. Right. I have no idea where Daryl and Neagle. We have no idea where Daryl and Neagle are. Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Well, we'll talk to you later. I got some things to do in the garage, and uh, what else do I need to do? Uh, return Negan and Daryl. They're on. They're on a ride. We've searched the entire house. Kirsty even crawled halfway into the crawl space upstairs. And I don't do stuff like that because any crawl spaces in general on TV or in real life give me the willies. She doesn't even like going upstairs in this house. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. No. Oh. So. Not by myself. Nope. Mm-mm. No. I refuse. Anyway, the search, the hunt... Continues. Continues for Daryl and Negan. There is a reward. 50 cents. For each. Yeah. For each. For the, each. So if I'd, anybody... I'd buy that for a dollar. So if anybody <laughs> out there knows anything about what happened to Daryl and Negan... Let us know ASAP. Yes, please. Because we are missing them. Well, everybody, it is time to call it an evening. I'm exhausted from looking, searching for Daryl and Negan all day. Me too. Well, yep, still no luck. Kevin hasn't told us where he put them yet. I didn't do anything with them. Anyway. Anyway. Are you making fun of me? Would I do that? Ooh. Oh, you would. <laughs> That's very uncalled for. Uncalled for? Rude. Yes. Very rude. Oh. Why do you keep looking over there? He's not there. Who? Yeah, who? He's missing. It's M-I-A. Mm. We were wondering if we could call the police and, and put out a missing persons report. A missing cardboard person? Yeah. Okay. So. But, anyway, I think we're going to call it a day. Day. Um, it's been a long day. We're tired. And I think Kirstie still has to go to the ranch. Yes. She'll have to do that. Yeah, so... If you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today, please give us a favorite, a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment down below. We love to hear from each and every one of you, and we love to respond back to each and every one of you. Please share our video with your family and friends. But, most of all, please subscribe, and we will see you all tomorrow.
Whoa!